sadness is caused by any unpleasant events that okay. happens. Any Some, unpleasant uh, event. Something that is unpleasant. It can okay. be a disappointment. It can happen to us directly. It can happen to our uh, people we love. Okay. It can even happen to our society or our country. Yes. When something that is very unpleasant happens, mm. that mm. everybody feels sad. Okay. Or uh, it may be a disappointment. Maybe some children are not performing up to par. Yes. No, no matter what you do. Mm. So, but like uh, Daddy said, mm -hmm. transient, uh, it can be transient, transient. Or, or persistence, depending on the persistence of the occurrence. Okay. If the, if the situation occurs continuously, yes. then, then sadness also becomes uh, a, a, a continuous affair. Okay. And if not properly handled, mm -hmm. it can lead to so depression. depression. It okay. does not automatically lead to depression. Okay. It's only when the person is not able to handle that sadness Mm -hmm. or the unpleasant event okay. correctly okay. that is go, it go uh, because depression you can graduate to depression uh, yes it graduate glory to, to jesus glory to jesus so that means according to our father depression is an advanced stage of sadness continuous sadness can lead to depression we need contribution from all of us here today we are talking about the topic is feeling sad the same as depression when somebody makes you angry momentarily does is it the same as being depressed we want to know the difference and for our questions to ponder today because uh, this sadness and depression can cause a lot of uh, problems in marriages at home too it can make a husband and wife not to like each other anymore and so on so today's question says how might depression affect my sexual life with my partner we want to answer can it affect it in any way if you're always sad or depressed with you, and can it have any effect in your intimate relationship too could my depression be causing me physical pain headache sleeplessness physical pain can it cause disease if you are always depressed can it cause disease you want to know number three question how often do i feel sad in a week and what excites me the most so if you're always sad or angry what do you do to make you to make you happy do you do recreation do you do listen to music specifically give us your own experience what you do during your own moment of sadness that makes you happy let us know so that others can also learn from you glory to jesus oh, yes you. okay our sister has one more when i'm depressed okay. mostly i play music okay she plays music I, to reduce i watch movies sadness. all those funny funny movies i play it okay and i i blow the speaker to even hit my, okay. my inner ear it's okay so sometimes music i'm very sorry sometimes i take alcohol seriously <laughs> <laughs> in my but not house, to the level of drunkenness i hope not to have much not to drunkenness like lighting my heart okay for the thing to go off me it's all right glory, it's to glory to jesus glory to jesus yes <laughs> all right uh she says she sings i mean she listens to music as a way to reduce our own moment of sadness yes you want to know share your own experience what do you do to excite you when you are looking sad because if you go to ephesians chapter mm -hmm. ephesians chapter 4 verse 26 it says if you become angry do not let your anger lead you into sin and do not stay angry all day so since you don't want to remain angry all day what do you do to reduce your own anger you want to know share. yes uh -huh. adali has something mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Uh, automatically, I'm a woman being. Don't yes. understand Everybody it. can get angry. Yes, everybody and can get angry at any time. Yes. Well, my, myself, personally, when I get angry, mm -hmm. I sing. I remember that okay, I was I sing. by, I will sing okay. songs okay. to glorify my God. Mm -hmm. Don't understand it. To show that whatever happens to me, God knows about it. Okay. Don't understand it. So, right. Sometimes now, I say, almost everybody, mm -hmm. don't understand, nobody in this world mm -hmm. is affected from having, being angry. Okay. Don't understand it. Sometimes some situation can make you to be angry, but mm -hmm. you must not point to sin because of that. Okay. So sometimes I bring my Bible, mm -hmm. reading all those things now. Mm -hmm. Words of encouragement from scripture. Yes, another from one. Yes, I will encourage myself. Yes. This is the, the, just a temporary something, not okay. a permanent. It's not permanent. You understand. Glory to Jesus. Us. Yes, yes. Uh, that he does two important things that makes him happy when he's sad. He sings to the Lord and reads the scripture. Yes, studying the Bible and reading the encouraging words of scripture, especially the book of Psalms, can help you to make you happy and be encouraged again. Yes, we need more contributions. How often do I feel sad in a week? And what excites me the most? Answer that question, please. Could my depression be causing me physical pain? Yes, we want to know. When someone is depressed, can the person can it lead to sickness? Want to know? Yes. Yeah. 
Yes, contribution. Our sister has something more. Okay. Glory to Jesus. Honor unto Mary. Depression can lead to sickness. Okay, physical pain can Yes, occur. physical pain, like yeah. headache. Headache. Like, mm -hmm. yes, the uh, previous classes. Yeah. So we mentioned some diseases that can occur when you are depressed. Yes, symptom. Yes. Yes. Like headache. Even it will, like our question said, it will also affect our sexual um, relation with your spouse. Yes, with our spouse. Because okay. if you are not happy, there are this hormone that, mm -hmm. that we urge you to uh, to play with your it will not be there. Okay. When you are depressed, you don't love. Okay. That is it. So unhappiness you, can yes. lead to break so you, you don't love. And, um, let me just go to the previous question. I said, what do you do when you yes, are depressed? Yes, what will you do when you feel sad? Uh, when or you what do you sad? usually do mm. from experience? For mm. me, I I don't know. I love smiling so much. You love smiling? Yes, just I love, I love. smile like I, that. I will laugh. Okay. So I don't know. <laughs> and sometimes I listen to music. Okay. And what excites me most is that when I think, maybe I'm annoyed, maybe my husband did something that, mm -hmm. that I don't like for that okay. moment. Mm -hmm. I will just sit down, I will just be laughing at him. Mm -hmm. And another thing I will be remembering mm -hmm. that I Those remember. Those past good moments yes, in the past. Okay. That, ah, this one that is doing like this. And it's not like this. So. Okay. <laughs> so that is, I will just be remembering the past Recollecting the past yes. moments of joy. Yes. All right. Can bring so back joy. joy Again. Back. Glory to Jesus. Oh, yes, we need more contributions. For those joining us, today we are talking about uh, is feeling sad the same as depression? Remember, the moon has been talking about uh, depressive disorders. That, that, so there are so many challenges of life that can make people fall into depression. A, a feeling of loss of hope, hopelessness, that you think that nothing can work out in your own life again. Your business has collapsed. Your relationship has collapsed. Uh, your no money. Economy is harsh. So people can become depressed because of the challenges of life. So we have been talking about that from the month, beginning of the month of May. And today we are trying to find out the difference between being sad and being depressed. Glory to Jesus. Yes. You need more contributions for everybody. Glory to Jesus. Oh, not to Mary. People, we have been talking of how we handle depression. Mm -hmm. I think it's more relevant to handle how we should handle it. How we should handle it. It's okay. more important to know how we should handle it. Okay. Because... Most moments of sadness will always come. Sure. There will always be unpleasant events. Mm. The question is, how do you handle it? Yes. The first thing I think to do is think of, okay, as a human being, this situation has come, what can I do? Okay. To address it. Okay. Because, like my sister decided to drink, mm. that is called avoidance approaching. Moderately, uh, anyway. Uh, no, that is called avoidance approach. Because some people can drink your drunk wait, 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 wait. Uh -huh. That is called avoidance <coughs> approach in psychology. Okay. That is you are avoiding the problem. You want to make yourself happy. Mm. But the drinking will not, uh, the problem will not go away because you, you should are be thinking of the how to solve it. You should, the first thing is to think of how, how to solve it. All right, all right. If you have tried to your uh, your, your part as a human being, mm. then you address yourself to God. Okay. Lord, I have this problem. Okay. I want to unload it to you. Mm. Help me with it. All right. Then after that, you can now begin to make yourself happy, as my sister said. Okay. Using all that. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Amen.